Okay, so hey guys, today I am going to try to stay, speak soft and we'll see how that works because I'm not the only one in the house today as I had mentioned earlier. Um, but right now we are trying to go for Herbert and we are here giving this choice for whether I should go see his friends and stuff. So I'm going to choose a one to make sweets with my friend and hopefully he comes with that choice because the last time i said this it was only rachel that showed up i need to find the anonymous sender for the chocolate okay here yeah. bake something with herbert so it seems like i can only have either or i can't have both of them there as an option let's quietly bake some cookies and find the sender of the chocolate i wanted to spend my time looking for the sender for the chocolate but i couldn't leave the classroom without having a completely Having completed my dessert, let's finish up these cookies so I can go look for the person who gave me those heart-shaped chocolates. Wow, Lola, you're so fast. I'm impressed. You say that, Herbert, but the bread you made looks more impressive. And it's green too. What kind of bread is it? Or that this is a herb bread with her, uh, pers basil, parsley, rosemary grown by the Garden Club. Looks good, right? I wonder how that will taste like. Like the other day I made a garlic bread, a ah, garlic bread, I made garlic bread or like some garlic thing and it was really nice. Mm -hmm. I want to make that again but I don't have all the ingredients to do that. I wonder what the ratio of herbs to the flour is for that bread. I know, to make it green. Um, would you like to try a slice? Oh, uh, sure. I looked down at the green bread and took a big bite. It's... Okay, why are there two choices that say the same thing? Uh, it's yummy. Really? really? Yes, it's really delicious. I thought it would taste very herbal, but it's a very addictive flavor. Thank goodness, I've tried to put the herbs that are well liked by everyone, so I know you don't like the unusual. So I know you don't like the unusual ones. We sat in front of the oven and shared the bread and other desserts. Perhaps it was just the heat of the oven, but Herbert's face was pink the whole time. After being surrounded by the scent of sweet desserts at school all day, my nose was fe feeling itchy. And I didn't even manage to find out who made those chocolates for me. The only thing I managed to see was Herbert make the herb bread. He loves his plants, although all, all right. Perhaps that's why he's so good with his hands. Anyways, I decided to continue my investigation the next day. Oh, interesting. This one doesn't end with me going to sleep. The rain from the from this morning will continue throughout the day in the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, is that truck really about to do it right now? Okay, I'm gonna talk after this, but I think I'm gonna skip this information because, like, this is, this is information that... We already know. <laughs> okay, hopefully that truck is done, but I don't know because I don't know how people don't have water. That's basically the truck for water that brings in water for people who do not have water. <laughs> I know that was a long explanation, but we're gonna choose the ghost roaming the garden. Hey, did you hear? Did you know that there was a ghost who shows up in the school garden on rainy days? What really? Really, I'm telling you, you can see the ghost among the trees every time it rains. Ugh, no way. There aren't any creepy, deserted spots in that garden. Then go look for yourself. If you don't see anything, I'll buy you all the snacks this week. You think I wouldn't actually go check? Be prepared to buy me those snacks. Ugh, I can't believe in um, fact-checking fact, fact a ghost story when it's raining like this. Uh, I guess I'll say thank God I brought an umbrella. Bad ending. <laughs> <laughs> I made way, my way to the garden trying to avoid the rain. But if there's a ghost in the garden, the gardening club should know. I will, I wonder if Herbert knows about this story. Just then, I saw a white shadow pass by behind the trees. Uh, yeah. Again, sound effects, worst thing for me. Uh... What's this familiar voice, Herbert? What are you doing here? Oh, Lola, it was you. I was startled. I 
was on garden duty today and since it's raining i was putting some sticks up to support the plants oh don't you do that before the rain um so does that mean the garden the I mean, does that mean the ghost was just a gardening club member in a raincoat but i'm worried about this one look here I've used all the sticks I have, but it's that I but I eh, but if I don't help this plant, its flowers will be ruined by the rain. What should I do, Lola? <laughs> I, I'll choose. I will hold my umbrella over the plant. I held my umbrella over the plant, and soon enough, the flowers return to normal. Yeah, that's obviously and uh, fictional, Lola. But if if we stayed like this, you. You'll get wet. But it's funny because like I'm trying to grow kale and all I'm growing is weed. <laughs> no, Stevie, that's tricky track. And um, basically the the weed, if it's like low, if I put some water on it, it's like, it's fine after that. And it's the same day. So I guess it does take a few hours for it to like be parky again. Okay, let's hope that truck is done. Um, Lola, but if we stay like this, you'll get wet. I have an idea. Can you lend me your raincoat? Huh? My raincoat? Herbert hesitated for a moment before taking off his raincoat and giving it to me. I took the raincoat and unfolded it over our heads to protect us from the rain. Oh, cute. Come on, let's go. Lola? And just like that, we ran back towards the school through the rain. Brr, so chilly. I couldn't believe that story was about a student I know so well. Da, 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 da. Okay, so now, this is where it gets interesting because I don't know what to choose. Maybe I'll... I'm not sure if I should wait or open the curtains. Because I'm assuming the curtains is Serena. I know waiting is Hubbard. And the symptoms is most likely Marcus. But we'll go with wait quietly. Uh, I get to finally go down. I wonder why there are so many sick people at school today. Perhaps it's because people are walking about in the rain. How about you better not come running in here? Uh, excuse me, is my classmate here? I'm on that bed over there. He finally, he, he really came. Let's return to, to sleep. Soon enough, I heard the sound of the curtain being opened. Soft footsteps. And then the curtain being shut again. Lola, are you sleeping? Oh goodness, did you get soaked in the rain yesterday? I did as well, but I didn't catch a cold. Okay, so this time, I'm going to say I should tease him by surprising him. I don't know how that's going to go, because last time I show was so embarrassing, I'll pretend to sleep. Uh, so we'll see. I should choose him by surprising him. Wow! <laughs> I got you, don't worry. I'm not sick, just resting. No noise in the nurse's office, Lola. If you're not sick, you should be. You, should, you, cannot, you can't be in here. That's how Herbert and I got just out of the nurse's office, ma'am. What should I say to Herbert? Just it was just a joke. So you weren't sick, you lied to me. Oh, so it's the same thing. Wait, did I say that last time? Maybe I chose the wrong thing. I don't know. We'll see if I'll even get that happy ending. You lied to me then. I'm so glad that you aren't sick, but I think I'll go back to the classroom by myself. <gasps> this might be a bad choice. I wonder why Herbert looked so gloomy. I should return to the nurse's office. Yo, that's probably a bad choice, but we'll see. I got the mid picture thing, so maybe I'll be fine. Ever since I received those chocolates from the unknown sender, my school life now flipping a has changed. Okay, so I'm going to go find Herbert. We'll see if I'll get a bad ending because apparently I chose the wrong thing. As I exited the nurse's office, I couldn't help but think, is this? Is this what I think it is? Herbert was packing his bags by himself in the classroom. The chocolates I got, were they from you? Uh, what? Herbert's eyes grew wide. You want to walk with me by the lake? I've said this much. If it isn't him, this is so embarrassing. Just as I had that th 
caught, Herbert spoke. This is probably a bad ending. We are not in a good place right now to be saying all this. Okay, so it was him. So, I, I'm sorry that I wasn't honest with you. I wanted to tell you, but at the same time, I was too scared. I shook my head and took out a box from my bag and did it to Herbert. Yeah, this is for you. This herbal candy? Herbert, I have a feeling... I have feelings for you. I like you to the point where whatever you like, I like as well. Will you accept my love? Howard sniffled slightly as he slowly accepted the box. I was about to say you best. I don't think I'll ever be able to forget the taste of herbal candy. Oh, that was it. That was legit it. Okay, so we got his happy ending and his, I guess, memory. So now we're just left with the last person that will hopefully show up after this. So I don't even know how that's going to be like, but most likely. What a cute doll, look, he's next to the plants. So this one. Yes! I like all they give me a lot of points like this because it makes it easy for me. <laughs> oh my god, am I going to get you before anyone else? <laughs> I'm not even complaining. <laughs> he's reached 2000 just on one day. Like, he's gone higher than some people. Like, what the hell? We'll see what we'll want tomorrow. It will probably be something more difficult for me. Because this is how far I am with Serena. Literally higher than her. This is how far I am with Rachel. It's annoying because some people's gifts are better on some days. And like other days it was just... It was the worst. Like he's... I got this high with him because of those flowers. But I ran out of the flowers. So I had to start giving him something else. But... Um, okay, so that's gonna be it guys. Um, oh, here's the other person up here in the tree. I don't know if you can see her. Interesting. Okay, so yeah. See you in the next part. Toodles.